matter that was related to uh, say different states and we studied one very important relationship that we have been uh, quite familiar with now that was PV is equal to NRT. Now from here we will utilize this equation even for our cases wherever we know that our gas is an ideal gas. But in order to study the properties or the nature of the states of matter, how they interact, what we basically have is thermodynamics. As the name suggests thermodynamics, what does it mean? There are two types of you know, uh, mechanisms that, when, that you can talk about. One is static process and the other can be a dynamic process. Static matlab rukawa. Okay, and dynamics matlab something which is in motion, right? And when I talk about thermo, that means it is related to some kind of a study which is related to my changes which are caused by the majorly because of temperature or maybe heat. So whatever properties that I'm going to relate to this will be basically my thermodynamics. So I can say that basically it is nothing but the study of energy transformations. Energy transformations, matlab, uh, say for example, when you operate a cell, you know that the chemical energy is being utilized to do some kind of work, right? The chemical energy may be converted to an electrical energy, electrical energy may be converted to a chemical energy and things like that. Say when you burn a fuel, all right, to run an engine, say example can be, say burning of, you burn a fuel, all right? for running an engine in an engine so what kind of an energy transformation is this you are utilizing the chemical energy because some fuel is getting burned and you know that whenever your hydrocarbons like for example are burnt what is the end product you get carbon dioxide and water so here in this case what are you going to get the chemical energy is getting converted to the mechanical energy because your engine is actually working, it's doing some kind of a mechanical work. So here you say that your chemical energy is getting converted to mechanical energy. It is very important that you understand the meaning of chemical thermodynamics first. You talk about any kind of an energy transformation and that energy transformation is nothing but it is the conversion of uh, energy trans one in a one form of energy into another form of energy by some kind of thermal changes which may be related to some kind of movement that means your process is not at all static okay then one thing that we can relate here is you get the relationships remember that from here you get the relationships of heat and other forms of energies so basically Whatever you can relate to the transformations of heat and its energy can be related to your thermodynamics. Now, why are we studying this? The main thing is that what we need to do here is to understand the objectives of thermodynamics. In the objectives of thermodynamics is like, now you understand that whenever we talk of any transformation of any process transformation of energy we are talking about the study of thermodynamics objectives the very first purpose is say i talk about any chemical reaction a given b how would i know whether that reaction will actually happen you also know h2 plus o2 is ex existing here in the room as well but it's not forming water but how will i get to know at what stage will it be spontaneous or when the reaction will happen that i will get to know from the study of thermodynamics because the laws of thermodynamics which we we will be doing will talk about the feasibility of any process feasibility of any process means whether the process is going to occur or not occur okay so it will and feasibility is also termed as spontaneity i repeat the purpose of doing chemical thermodynamics is simply the very major purpose is like to know the feasibility of any process, whether the reaction is spontaneous or not. If it is spontaneous, then that means the process will occur. Okay. Or if I say if the process is feasible, that means I can easily carry on with that process. Then the next thing is that we can also find out the yield of the products. And then, of course, using the uh, study of thermodynamics, I can arrive at many more relations. Uh, say, I can arrive at many more physical chemistry concepts.
like for example uh, your raoult's law etc they all can be related to your thermodynamics so by using the basic principles of thermodynamics and the laws of thermodynamics what we can do is we can actually study very many other physical chemistry concepts but then what are the limitations of chemical thermodynamics the limitations are it is talking about the feasibility of the process but it is not talking about the path or the mechanism which is followed so it is not talking about anything about the mechanism of the process as to how a is getting converted to b it will only tell you ki a b mein convert ho jayega ya nahi hoga it will not tell you ki wo kaise convert hoga got the point so it will talk about only the feasibility of the process ki hoga ya nahi hoga but it will not tell you anything about the mechanism which is followed okay then uh, another thing that it will not tell you about is it will not tell you about the speed ab man lo a b mein convert hone mein char din lagayega ya char ghante ya char minute uske bare mein it will give you no information it will only tell you whether it will get converted finally or not irrespective of the time taken so chemical thermodynamics ka ye limitation hai that it will just not tell you about the rate or the speed at which your process is happening okay and then another thing is that this is the study which deals with only macroscopic systems it does not talk anything about the microscopic entities like <coughs> earlier when you have done the study of microscopic entities and what is that study called quantum mechanics right so whenever we study quantum mechanics there we had studied that whatever properties your macroscopic systems has they are possessed even by the microscopic entities but when we talk about the laws of thermodynamics they are only applicable to the macroscopic systems so the limitation is that they cannot be used for the microscopic systems at all okay they cannot be used for the microscopic systems then what we have is that uh, basically you have to remember that these laws are now applicable only for what type of systems macroscopic and another thing that you need to understand here is that we basically deal with thermodynamics say in stages where we have some kind of an equilibrium which is set say from when one system is getting converted from one equilibrium state to say another state which is going to be at equilibrium so when i talk about this is what we are now by and large going to do in your course that is the study of thermodynamics which is dealing with energy transformations ab energy bhi bahut type ki hoti hai whatever energy transformation any energy we talk about internal energy we talk about heat energy we talk about electrical energy we talk about gravitational energy any kind of energy transformation is generally what chemical thermodynamics and when we say it's chemical thermodynamics by and large we are relating it to the chemical processes और केमिकल प्रोसेसेस क्या होते हैं रिएक्शंस जो भी हम रिएक्शंस कर रहे हैं वो केमिकल प्रोसेसेस हैं सो बाय एंड लार्ज इट इज द रिलेशनशिप ऑफ हीट एनर्जी विद अदर फॉर्म्स ऑफ एनर्जी और एनी काइंड ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन नाउ नेक्स्ट थिंग दैट आई टोल्ड यू इज दैट व्हाट आर द ऑब्जेक्टिव्स ऑफ थर्मोडायनेमिक्स दैट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द ऑब्जेक्टिव्स इन बाय एंड लार्ज आर इट हेल्प्स यू इन फाइंडिंग आउट द फीजिबिलिटी ऑफ द प्रोसेस फीजिबिलिटी का क्या मतलब होता है कि रिएक्शन होगा कि नहीं होगा अगर वो होगा तो मैं कहूंगी रिएक्शन इज स्पॉन्टेनियस और राइट देन आफ्टर दैट इट विल ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट द यील्ड ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट यील्ड मतलब कि फाइनली हाउ मच अमाउंट ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट एम आई गोइंग टू गेट ओके से इफ से सपोजिटली आई स्टार्ट विद हंड्रेड परसेंट ए मे बी आई मे गेट एट्टी परसेंट ऑफ बी एंड द रेस्ट ऑफ द ट्वेंटी परसेंट इज डिसिपेटेड एट एज हीट एनर्जी वो वेस्ट हो गया या फिर वो साइड प्रोडक्ट कुछ और बना रहे या समथिंग सो दैट इन्फॉर्मेशन आल्सो आई विल गेट फ्रॉम माय थर्मोडायनेमिक्स एंड वॉट एवर लॉज आई एम गोइंग टू डू अंडर माय थर्मोडायनेमिक्स टॉपिक दोज कैन बी यूटिलाइज्ड टू अंडरस्टैंड अदर टॉपिक्स एज वेल ओके देन आई टॉक अबाउट द लिमिटेशन द लिमिटेशन बाय एंड लार्ज आर दैट इट विल नॉट टॉक अबाउट द रेट और द स्पीड एट विच माई रिएक्शन इज अकरिंग okay the science which deals with the speed of the reaction is chemical kinetics this you will do next year 
when you talk about the rate that means you are talking about the kinetics of the reaction this you will do i mean in 12th standard it is very much there in your course chemical kinetics it talks about the speed of the reaction all right but